Hi. I'm Tammy's mom. So I started this whole thing. <laughs> anyway, Tammy wrote me out a, thing, a, a, a whole paragraph what she wants me to read to you. So I may get halfway through it and I may not, but we'll get it started. Yeah. Tammy Mathis, owner and operator of Tea's Plentiful Salads, dreamed of having her own restaurant catering company since she was a small child. Not true. <laughs> uh, she was watching her mother and grandfather cook. It may be him, but not me. She attended culinary school, yeah, passionately continued to increase her knowledge of culinary arts. Okay. She won a funded micro-grant, yay, at March North Flint Soup event in 2018. Okay. T's Plimple Salad has become so popular, which it really has, uh, that, that she's even supplied the salads for you guys here today. Now, she may be on the road, but she's still cooking. Yeah. Tease is involved in teaching culinary skills. She really does. She teaches that after she gets off work, then the kids come into the market, and then she goes back there and teaches them. She's also taught uh, outreach at schools in the afternoon. And she asked me, Mom, you need to come up here and help me do this, that, and the other. But let me tell you how Tammy got it started. Tammy got started as she was growing up by not cooking at all. <laughs> That's how she got started. Didn't boil water, didn't do anything. She would microwave, I'd buy a pizza, she'd heat it up and this sort of stuff. That was the extent of Tammy's cooking. So I was surprised when she went to culinary school because Tammy could not cook. Did not want to cook, would not cook. Okay, so that's how that started. Wherever it came, wherever the dream came, I don't know, all of a sudden, there was this girl named Tease and she was cooking. So I didn't know who Tease was, because she's Tamara. I didn't know it was my daughter, Tamara, because they said Tease. And so when I found out it was her, I said, it's you? And of course, it turned out to be her. Tammy started uh, cooking uh, uh, Applebee's and different restaurants, looking for different jobs, this sort of stuff, while going to college. Now, in 2015, she finally landed a really, uh, 2012 or 13, at GISD as the culinary chef there. Tammy was voted one of the most popular chefs by the students. Now, there's three students now that she, that, uh, she trained. They're on cruise ships now. There's two of them wow. that work out in Las Vegas as chefs. Wow. A couple of them came back into the city and they found out Tammy was at the farmer's market. So she did make a big, big impression on them. From there, she went to Hurley Hospital. After she started working there, on her days off, she would go home and make salad. She'd make two or three, this sort of stuff, because she liked eating salad. She liked the condiments. She liked the sauces. If you can get a sauce on it, she'd do it. Mm. She'd do it. She'd do it. She'd love that. So she started selling them out of her home on her day off from, 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 from the Hurley. Wow. Well, and of course, I had to come and help her. So next thing you know, here I am, packing the box, and she's taking them around, this sort of stuff. We met them in the parking lot with a salad <laughs> one day, this sort of stuff. But after that happened, then she went to Soup's Kitchen and she won the award there. And then by total miracle, and I say miracle, she got into the farmer's market. That was an absolute miracle. There were people on waiting lists, even to this day, still trying to get into the farmer's market. After she got into the farmer's market, where her big, big break, she was selling them, her food speaks for itself. Her big break was Channel 12, March this year. To March 26th, 2000, no, 18, no, 19. As soon as I get home. This year, Channel 12 came out to get an interview. The next day, that was the first time she had ever sold 100 salads in a day. In a day. Since then, she's been selling out every day. Every day. Not because everybody wants to buy a salad, because they're good. The salads are good. One of the main things my sister says all the time, keep them the same. Keep the taste the same. Some of Talon's biggest sellers is her chicken salad. Yeah. Let me tell you about her chicken salad. Her ch people will get angry and want to fight over chicken salad. We have people that love her chicken salad, so they come, one lady comes every Saturday from Ann Arbor. My cousin now comes up twice a week from Millington. We have people from Detroit that's come in. The biggest one that really impressed my heart and made me cry was last Saturday. A young girl came in with her mother. She was walking slow. She had a bald head. And her mother said that since she's had radiation, she hasn't been eating anything. She's lost a ton of weight. But somebody fed her Tammy's chicken salad. Wow. And she actually came in to see who it was. And she said she just thanked God for Tammy's chicken salad because that's bringing her appetite back. Mm, that's great. That is the one that got her. 
So that was just last salad. Other salads she has is macaroni salad, crab salad, mac, uh, potato salad, tuna salad, Tammy's favorite, which whatever that is, turkey, veggie, uh, this sort of stuff. She also has taco salad Tuesday. She wanna come down and get that. Tammy needs this money. Let me tell you why. Because there's so many people that lost her salads. That the business is booming. We need help. And she needs help. Now she has her nieces and nephew in working. Those that are, want to be culinary students, they are coming. She's teaching them this sort of stuff. And then they're going back to college. But after they're going back to college, then she has to drag in her old aunties and stuff. You know, this sort of stuff. She's paying them, she's paying Tiana, she's paying Jariah, she's paying all the other ones. She needs money to pay wow, these kids. That's great. She wants to bring them up in this. And not only that, she needs better equipment. She wants more freezers and stuff to really store that stuff. She wants some really good knives. And, you know, maybe a new t-shirt. You know, this sort of stuff. So Tammy needs the money. But most of all, she needs you. We thank you. We thank all the ones that have supported her. All of you here have supported her. We thank you for that. And we want you to continue to support T's Plentiful Salads. Okay? Even though Tammy's not here, I am.